Welcome back. Well, the first building that I approached was not the one I thought I was going to do, but I decided to try the office on a 3D printer. So the, a whole 3D printed building. And I'll do the roof in cardboard. At least that's my idea right now. Because the complex was a collection of four different buildings that were grafted together, I figured it'd be easier just to do it on the 3D printer and then add the roofs. And I'm doing the roofs because the roof lines are awkward. I might consider doing them on the 3D printer. I'll have to see, but they're, they're a bit complex, but maybe I can do that on the 3D printer as well. But I want to maintain the look of these roofs, which have the screened look to them. And I think from a, when it's like this, you're not really going to notice the sides of the building. You're going to notice the roofs. But one of the things that the 3D printing allowed me to do is, if you look, I was able to add the ski ball machines in here, along with the cigarette machine that was there and the little uh, prize cabinet that was over there. Uh, painting all this will be a challenge, but I've done smaller things. And I consulted with my, my friend Tim Champagne, who worked at the park long before I did, and he was able to help straighten out some questions I had about how this thing was put together and where doors were and stuff. This was the door to the main office right over here. And um, this was the door to essentially payroll. This is where we would check in. We'd come through this little corridor here and we'd check in here. This was, uh, back, oh, and back here was a sliding, a big sliding door that led into the storage room for all the merchandise that went for the games. Over here, this was the novelty game, um, and it'll be a little more obvious when I get the roof on there and the big sign above it, uh, and I had a little door behind that. So, essentially, this is done outside of painting it, and what I'm going to do is, when I glue it down, after I get the roofs on, over here, there was a big tree, a big oak tree, that was right here that provided a little shade, so that'll go in after all that's done. So, one building making a little progress here. Well, here it is, nearly a year after that last sequence. And I'm still plugging along. Uh, life got in the way and I uh, slowed down, but I finally figured this out. So this is the new office that I designed. And as you can see, it's um, pretty much similar to the other one. I cleaned up some of the details in here, um, made them a little more distinct for the ski ball. Uh, and I fixed some of the doors and I also, as you notice, I 3D printed the roof. And there's also this section, which I 3D printed separately because it would be difficult to print it all together since there, was, there were overhangs. But I also, as you notice, I printed these, uh, the sign for the novelty game with the little crenellations on it and the overhang for the um, roof of the action booth and the action sign actually is turning out to be very very tiny and I'm probably just going to put a little dot of color there to indicate where it was it's just going to be too small to see so what I'll do is I'll paint all the inside of this first and then when this is all painted in here I'll glue the roof in place and then finish painting the roof or I could paint the roof first and then glue it that's probably the best thing to do but um that, I think, is going to look really nice. It'll have a lot of depth to it. And uh, one reason I was held up for so long is because I had no more paint. All my paint that I had was dried out, and so I just stalled and stalled getting new paint. As you can see, I never even finished all of the uh, fencing for the rides that I had printed out like three years ago. So, as you can see, I got a whole new set of paint, and this paint... Um, I'm much happier with because I got a lot of more muted colors like the baby blue for um, the colors at Mountain Park. So that way it'll look a lot more authentic 
um, and I won't have to mix the colors as much. They'll already be pre-mixed into the lighter colors, the pastel colors. So that'll be a help. And also, while I was doing this, since I had success designing the office, I decided to try another building, and I did the Pirate's Den. And let me get these out here. I, I probably went through a lot more detail than I needed to do, but I, I really enjoyed this ride and I wanted to make it as accurate as possible. So as you can see, I actually designed the track that goes through this in the same pattern that it was in the original ride at Mountain Park with the walls and everything. Now, why did I do this? I don't know, I just felt like it. Um, and I even have the little ramp going up into there and the little control booth where my father sat and controlled the ride. Uh, and I have all the little teeny weeny cars that I made for it that are just like the original pretzel cars. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue these in place. I'll have a couple. They would usually only send no more than two at a time through the ride and the rest would be in the station. So that's the way I'll run it. Now, um, even though you have these nice open bay windows because the uh, Pirate's Den had these giant garage door windows for insurance purposes so that in the event of a power failure, people could just jump out the windows, uh, they really were not as open as that. Uh, what they had is they had, let me get these things if I can, this, if you can see this, it's a graphic that I got from the original Pirate's Den, and you can see the white is the garage door windows. I took this picture when the ride was closed. But I'll cut out with a mat knife those little areas, and then that will sit and get glued in place there. So that will look just like the original Pirate's Den. And I did the roofs, the roofs, the roofs. I did the roofs in the same way that I did the office, and they're in pieces, and there's the back piece here, and there's the front piece, the overhang piece here, and this graphic, once I cut it out with the mat knife, will go on the front here, like the original pirate ship that was on the ride. And I also have a whole mess of graphics that have to go on that I printed out on here, so this right here, the Pirate's Den, that's going to be cut and fit onto this because that's where it was in the background, that baby blue. This wavy pattern right here was on the edge of the roof here, so I'll glue that on. And then I have these tiny graphics that uh, originally were over, let's get this out here, there we go. They were, one was over here as you entered and the other was over here as you exited. So I have those graphics that I can glue in place there after painting this. This little piece at the back, um, this was left over from when the building was originally the Fun House. It just said, it's fun to get lost. It was called Fun House. And this was a room that uh, Roger Fortin, the ride supervisor, had built himself. It was a tilty room, and you would enter it at one end here, and you'd go through all the tilty rooms, and then you'd come out, and this was right before the magic carpet, uh, the slide that was at the end of the fun house. And this remained right up until the end on the Pirate's Den. It was screened off with a big metal screen right here, but you could see the entire tilty room if you looked carefully as you went through in the ride. Um, so, a little bit of progress, not a year's worth, certainly, but a little bit of progress, and uh, hopefully I'll have time in the coming weeks, although I doubt it, but I'll have time in the coming weeks to start painting all these and get them together and that's where we'll pick up next and it probably will be in 2022 when we pick this up next. So this is turning into a, a really long project, much more than I had thought it would be. Um, the model itself is still here 
uh, in uh, my basement because it still has no home permanently. I haven't figured out where it's going to go yet. Uh, so that's why I haven't been really in a rush because once I finish it, I don't know where it's going to go. So hopefully I'll be solving that problem in the coming months as well, and I'll have a solution for that. But for now, a little bit of progress. And once this is done, there will only be two more buildings to do, the Dinosaur Den and Out of This World. And I'll probably approach them in very similar ways to this because this is working out quite well. It's not that hard to design these on the computer, and they print out exactly at the scale I need them to. So I'm very happy with that, and uh, we'll see what it looks like when it's painted. Hopefully it won't be too jarring a difference compared with the uh, cardboard ones, the cardstock ones that I have throughout most of the model. So we'll see. Well, making a little progress. It's only taken me a month, but uh, this is coming along. I still have some of the colors to paint there. They were different blocks of colors. And um, then I have to paint the blue in the front of the uh, pirate's den. And then I'll have all the little stickers to put on there. This one will go inside here, and then I've got the roof piece to do. So once I get everything painted, then I can put the, the decals on. But it's going to look nice. There's a... Um, you know, I don't know why I'm painting all the details inside there, because you're never going to be able to see them. But it's there. And then I have a graphic that I'm going to do for the a novelty game. So I got to make a copy of that and put that on there. And then those two pieces will be done. So getting there, it shouldn't be too long now. Well, here we have it. Finally done. Didn't come out too bad either. This is the... Uh, top of the pirate's den and here's what it looks like not too shabby and you can even see little tiny cars in there which I put right there and once this is all on of course you're barely going to be able to see any of it you've got the little decals on the side for how it was painted and the office is all done I've got the novelties sign on there and uh, I even got inside there a little graphic of the actual novelty booth and when this is again when this is on you're not going to see much of that anyway but it's there so now all I got to do is just glue the roofs on and then put them into the park And we are done. So there it is. There's the Pirate's Den installed. And the office and novelty game installed. Over here there was a really big elm tree. Or oak tree. Um, so I've got to put that in there. And there should be an awning going across these. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to that or not. I'm going to try. But there used to be an awning going right across both of those games. And then the only thing left will be the Dinosaur Den with the Chocolates game and the Kentucky Derby. And then over here, Out of This World. And after those two buildings, it'll be done. Then I'll just have to clean up some of the things. Like I still don't like the drop on the lift here I've got to fix that and some of the these pieces here on that I don't like on the coaster and put the side bracing on the coaster and uh, put some more trees because there are a lot more trees on the midway and I'm debating whether I really want to try to make 3d print all the stunts that were in the golf game like the little lighthouse and the frog things like that I might be able to do that since I'm feel more comfortable with 3D printing now, 
Um, so get all those pieces in there and that'll finish that off. So it shouldn't be long now, hopefully only a couple more months. And uh, by this summer, I'm hoping that this thing will be in Heritage Park um, and I will be done with it.